What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's RealTouchGML here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today is the seventh installment on our Game Maker Minecraft 2D series and today we're going to be doing something pretty exciting, we're going to be adding to the generating system which would be adding trees into our game. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and fix a quick glitch that happened in the last uh the last tutorial which was the water physics actually ended up not even working at all so how we're gonna fix that is just in here x is greater than or equal to view underscore x view uh, and x is less than or equal to view underscore w view actually what we need to do is we need to say view underscore x view zero plus our w view so that takes right here it was j it wasn't translating with our x it was just translating uh our x and then plus that view but for now what we're doing is we are taking what the x is and then adding to that view so uh i hope that makes sense so if we go and run it now i'll just go ahead and run it real quick to show you guys that uh the water physics do work now let's go ahead and let it do all that so we're in the game and here we are and there are the water physics pretty cool all right, so everything works now. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add trees into our game. So real quick, what I went ahead and did is in our sprites underscore blocks, I went ahead and created a sort of log uh, sort of texture there and a uh, leaf sort of uh, texture. I, I know it's, it's pretty good, but uh, so I did that. Now I'm going to go ahead and create, or I'm just going to duplicate the grass object and name it obj tree. And I'm going to set our image index to be, I believe it's four. Let me go ahead and check that. It's, yep, four. Okay. And then in our step event, what do we have in there? Yeah, we can go ahead and get rid of that. So now we, we have our tree. Let's move that to the bottom. And now let's duplicate that and say obj leaf. And this will be image index 5. There we go. All right. So now that we have that, what we need to do is in our tree object, we just want to, in the create event, we're basically going to just create a... Uh, a sort of it's gonna create the structure of the tree so in here we're gonna say index equals zero and we're gonna say if index equals one this will be sort of like generating the tree so now we set this index uh, when we actually create the object of the log all right so in here we're gonna say um, instance create X comma Y minus 32 OBJ tree. Copy this. Actually, you know what? I, I just thought of a good idea, actually. So instead of having a set height for all the trees, let's create a new variable Z, and it's going to equal floor random 3 plus 2. And that's going to be the tree height. Actually, let's name it tree height. So it, you can... It's uh, just an easier name. So let's create a for loop int, or no, not int, i equals zero, i is less than tree height, i plus plus, right? So now in here, we're just going to generate a tree. So if we create another variable, y, y equals y, minus 32, instance create x comma y, y comma, obj tree yy minus equals 32 all right and now what we need to do is at the very end of that we need to say um, instance create x minus 32 at yy comma do, 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 do. Actually, you know what let's put this above now I haven't, I haven't actually tried this system out yet. I'm doing this as I go. So try this, yy equals y, yy minus equals 32 before we actually set it. 
So this way, when we get to adding the leaves to our to uh, the tree, it's at the actual yy. So yy and then instant uh, no obj leaf. Copy that. Paste it. We say minus sixty four. Copy this. Now we do plus instead. Then we copy that and we paste it again, except we do yy minus 32, just to have it one more block high. And um, copy this, paste it down again, and then just have the xx be the normal x. So what we're doing here is we're actually structuring the tree. And this is what the tree is actually going to look like once it's generated in code. So in here we say uh, this will be the bottom uh, tree, bottom half of, the, if I can spell today, of the tree, and then this would be the top half of the tree. All right. So I'll explain this a little bit later, but now we have the basic stru tree structure. Okay. So actually. Like I said, I'm just doing this on the fly, and I haven't actually tested this before I'm showing you guys. I There might be a problem that I just kind of thought of when going into this. So to solve that problem, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all the code that generates this and cut it and create another variable called can grow equals false, or no, equals true. Now let's make it false. And in the step event, bring this code back in and paste it in there and also say, and can grow. And what I'm going to do inside here is just say can grow equals false. All right. So then actually, if we have the can grow variable, we might not even need this index here. Let's get rid of the index. Again, I'm just doing this as I go, so I apologize. But let's try it without the index, because that might actually work. So now let's go into our generate script. And right above everything here, we're going to say um, we're going to say z equals floor random 10 if z equals 0 we're going to say with instance create xx ah minus 32 obj tree can grow equals true so let's go ahead and test that out and see if it works before I start explaining. Okay, so as you can see, it did work. Um, so yeah, we didn't even need that index. As you can see, we have trees here. Now, one thing is that it's black around here because that is how our, our lighting system actually is set up. And as you can see, some trees actually go like I don't know, they're kind of like on each other, so to say. So let's, to, to, to help that and make trees a little bit more, uh, or a little bit less common, we can change this variable up to 20. And in our tree, we can set, uh, in the step event here, we can set our tree height to be a little bit higher. So let's say six. Let's run it. Just let it compile here. Okay, so here we are. We now have a pretty large tree, I would say, that just spawned right here. If we go ahead and go around the world a little bit more, so you can see trees are now less common than uh, our previous build because we we uh, put that we put the spawn rate uh, up. And now next tutorial, I'm going to fix this lighting glitch where we have that black 
thing. Uh, and, and also with the, with the water, we're gonna fix that as well. But yeah, as you can see, we can now chop down entire trees, which is pretty cool. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. I know this was a long tutorial, but I'm gonna try and get these out more often uh, than I have been. So go leave a like, go and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, peace.